So let's review again the wildcard generic types. So we talk about bounded wildcards. We talk about bounded generics, right? So now we talk about bounded wildcards and unbounded wildcards. Unbounded pretty much as the T, just T itself. But now we can just do, let's look at an example. So create a genetic stack and stack is an integer. Now if I say genetic stack number to find max, I pass the stack in. Can I do that? Stack type is an integer, but max is looking for generic stack number. No, you cannot because number is not an integer. So while class is going to help in this case, we're going to modify this to using the unbounded wildcard. Unbounded is just like no extends, right? So this is called unbounded wildcard. Instead of specified exact type, then this program will not work. Then we use wildcard means it can be any type. So when it can be any type, then it works. Now, the, when when it can be any type, that means you can have an integers, you can have a double number, right? You can still find a max of that or print. This one say this one max. So let's look at. This one is an example of unbounded for print. If I want to print the integers list, or I want to print like double list and so on. Now, but for this, if I provide a unbounded wildcard, it could take everything from integers, double, but also something else. It could be a string, it could be an object of student. Now, if you use unbounded, that's not good because when you want to find max, all the object that passing in must implement compare to, which is implement comparable, right? Has the method compare to. So unbounded is going to create errors when the object that we put in is not comparable. That's why we have to do bounded, right? Bounded wildcard, not just only any type, but also extends, right? So let's look at the bounded. Bounded means you do extends, right? Extend another object, right? Call it a bounded wildcard. So T just represent a or a subtype of T, right? The object represent object. So now we modify the max to be bounded, right? Extends number like that. Then we have we can make sure that everything that we find max, they are under number, then under number, pretty much they can do compare and find the max, right? Which number should be implements comparable? If they are extends comp number, then they should be okay. Then we can run this program without any issues with bounded wildcard. Now, another type of generics is the call a lower bound wildcard, right? Instead of extends, right? Extends like you inherit. But super, super you refer to the parents, right? So T now, instead of extend, we said T denote a subtype. Now T now denote a super type. So let's look at an example of super 
So, if I have two steps, one is string and one is object. So I can push anything since this is stack up object into step two. Either string itself or number in series. But step one always has to be a string because it's string, right? Um, now I'm going to use the add method. And this add is the generic method, right? Which is going to have stack one, which is string. Then it's t, right? And stack two. Now, what should be a type in stack two? Since stack two is an object. So, the example creates step of string, right? Step one, step two, and add step one, step two. To add the string in step one into step two, like we want to, the add meanings we want to push everything in step one into step two. While step one is not empty, we want to pop everything from step one and push into step two. So, to add the string in step 1 into step 2, right? So that method that's going to do. The super, right? We call bounded, right? Generic super type here. Generic stack. Question mark super t is used to declare stack 2. So stack, this is stack 2. So in order to add stack 1 into stack 2, we need this to help. So the t, like, here is just replaced by question mark super t. Now, when we run this program, it said a compiler error will occur on add step 1 to step 2 in line 8 right there. Because step 1's type is the generic stack, string, I mean generic string. And step 2 type is the question mark super t. And t represent a super type of T. And now in this case, our T is an object. An object is a super type of string. Right? So question mark here is object, I mean, right? And T actually is string, right? Because we pass string here. So object and super T. So now, we're going to modify this. We said, if we change it to question mark extends t for the stack 1 instead, and stack 2 is going to be t, now t becomes object right instead. And string extends object. Right? That's make more sense than object and super type is string, right? So that's how we're gonna modify and make it work. So let's look at the inheritance relationship involving generic types and wildcard types. So relationship between generic types and wildcard types. So object, this is wildcard. Wildcard super E. E subclass. So if I say this extends E, right? So it's going to look like that. And this is the E subclass, right? 
subclass of E. And this is the E superclass of E. And object is pretty much the superclass of E superclass. So I say question mark super E. So E, this is like a super of E, right? So that's why we don't want to say object super T, right? So if you look at this object, and this is generic A, and this is unbounded generic, so it could be any type. Now if we say X tends B, so this has to be an object of B, right? In order to use this generics. Otherwise, it's going to have an error set compiled time. And this is B superclass. AB. I mean, sorry, a, B subclass, right? This is AB. And if you say this is B subclass, we can say this is a super of B. But for the unbounded, it could be any type, so that's why I say at top. So let's look at more example into this, I think. Is generic stack the same as generic stack object? Yes, right. That's called raw type. So checkpoint is very important for your test too, right? What are unbounded wildcard, bounded wildcard, and lower bound wildcard? So unbounded wildcard is the question mark. A bounded is question mark x tends t, and lower bound wildcard is question mark super t. So what happens if line 12 to 13 in listing 19.9 are changed to T and T? So this is the one. So instead of doing this or this. So this one has no errors, right? Now, if we do... T and T, would that create an errors or not? So... <clears throat> let's try it. Let's test this code together. So, <coughs> first, let's review the concept of wildcard, how to use it in a program. So, we create a super wildcard demo. And this demo, this program pretty much has two methods to add. Add means we can add the first stack to the second stack. Alright, we could we, in the program, we create two stacks. We can combine them into one stack. Like, push, pop everything from stack 1 and push into stack 2. Right. And print, pretty much just print the list out. Now let's look at the generic stack. The generic stack is the program that we created. So it can get a size, peak, push, pop. Is empty into string. Now let's run this program first to see if there is an errors. This program said we create two stack. One is string type, one is object type. And in order to push stack one into stack two, we said t t stack one is a string, so string type is passing in. So now we said the super of string should be what? Question mark, another type here, object, because stack two. So super of string is object. Then if super of string is object, then I should be able to push all the information from stack one string into stack two without any errors. Okay, and after the program run, 